Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this equation in slope-intercept form, um, or it's in standard form. And I want to, what I'm going to do is convert it to standard form so I can be able to graph it. So we first need to understand what exactly is slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So to graph using slope-intercept form, we obviously need to take it from standard form and rewrite it in slope-intercept form. To do that, I got to solve for my variable y. So what we need to do is identify what is happening to my variable. We notice that my variable is being multiplied by negative 3 as well as being subtracted by x. So I need to undo those operations to solve for y. So I always undo addition and subtraction to the variable first. So I'm going to add an x. Therefore, I have a negative 3y is equal to x plus 1. Instead of writing 1 plus x, I want to write the x plus 1. So my um, term with my variable is in front of my constant. The next thing is now I see that my variable is being multiplied by uh, negative 3. So now I'm going to divide by negative 3 on both sides. And it's very important for us to make sure we divide the 3 into both of these terms. And therefore, I have y equals um, x divided by negative 3 minus 1 third. Now, we usually don't write x divided by negative 3. What we want to be able to understand is this can be rewritten as there's a 1 times that x. And that 1 times the x, I can rewrite that as a fraction of a negative 1 third times x minus 1 third. All right. So it's very helpful to understand so you can see where slope, where it's written as far as m. It's written as the coefficient of your variable. Then I can determine my slope is equal to a negative 1 third. And my y-intercept is the coordinate point, or y-intercept is equal to a negative 1 third. Now remember, the y-intercept represents a point. So when I go to graph, I'm going to have my y-axis and my x-axis. And the first thing I'm going to do is want to plot my point at negative 1 third. So if I say, like, here's 1, negative 1 third is going to be right here. Now, this can kind of be a little bit confusing. Um, ooh, that's a big one. But to graph the point, remember the slope just tells us what is going to be the change in your y and your x values between any two points. And you have a negative sign. Now, this negative sign can be, we can attribute to the numerator, or we can also attribute to the negative or the denominator. It doesn't really matter. Let's attribute, though, to our uh, numerator for this case. So I have negative, I have negative 1 third. If I want to go, if the change in the y values between any two points is negative 1, that means I need to go down negative 1. So therefore, I'm going to be 1 third past the next tick mark, which is um, going to be negative 1 and 1 third. Then to go over positive 3 units, because I already went down negative 1, now I need to go over 3 units. 1, 2, 3. And then I can just connect my points. And it's as simple as that. Um, you could also, ooh, that looks really bad. There we go. I could also go up 1 third. Well, since this is 1 third down, I'm going to be 1 third short. And then going over 3 units would be over there. So up 1 third, or up 1, and then over 3 units. And then you could see that you could do it that way as well. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph the, graph the equation when your y-intercept is a fraction. Thanks. So how long did it take you to do the test? today.